All right. So if you did have, as you can see with this so issue, I would just, so should you just use find all folders? You can, yeah. So that, so if you have, so like Ryan was saying, if you have more than one phone number, or you want to search for more than one phone number, um, the search just finds the first instance of that and leaves the rest of the text alone. Whereas um, if you use find all, it puts them all in a list. So mo is num regex dot find all. My number is whatever, and my office number is whatever. You then have pardon these issues, print mo one, you get the second phone number, print mo zero, you get the first phone number. So like Ryan was saying, it may be better to always use find all, but to start with, we're just going for search. Yes, Zach. It's the order in which they're found in the text. I just accidentally did mo one first and then mo zero second. But if you print, you should just be able to print mo. And these are the two phone numbers that was found that were found. In order. In order. Yep. Do you guys have any questions? What's the difference between search and find all, Tommy? Dot search and dot find all. Josh, you want to help him out? You're not sure. So who? Let's go, Zach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So, yes. So, what exactly is the e dot compile and the like dot order? So, re dot compile is basically saying this is what we're looking for. Okay, so that's just the notation for like the pattern. Mm -hmm. What's so, that group? What? What's that group then? Group. So it. As you get into more complex, as we're looking for, not only are we looking for Batman, we want anything that has Batwoman in it as well. And you can do that. So we can search not just for one specific word, but you can look for a group of words. You can, um, you can break this up, this phone number, which is why you can't, we're not gonna go parentheses yet, because that's what you use for groups. Um, you can look up um, every phone number, and then group them by area code and the rest of the phone number and then sort by area code. So if you have a list of a bunch of phone numbers, you want to say, well, I need everyone who's in 630 and I want those to be in their own list. Everyone in 586, everyone in 313 and 24. I'm going off of area codes from where I grew up. I don't know too many area codes out here. Uh, I actually only know 630. 313, uh, that's Detroit. Oh yeah, I already knew that. Yeah. And Thanks. 586 is Detroit suburb, same with 248. Um, so you could do that and you can use different groups. So when you have groups, you have mo.group and it prints the whole, everything that's found in the regex. If you do group.1 or group one, it goes with group, the first group, the second group, and the third group. Um, groups come in short, up shortly we only have 10 we have nine minutes left and I kind of want to give you guys some practice with this getting used to it um, because it is kind of tricky so I don't think we're gonna go much further yeah we're gonna start with grouping tomorrow uh, but what I want you guys to do is you can search for either text or numbers so what I want you guys to do What's, is uh, it's like backslash T, like a not any text, but a certain word. Yeah. Um, but what I want you guys to do now is come up with your own regex. Could be for a phone, could be for a phone number, could be for text, either one. But I want you guys to create the regex, the match object, and then um, 
I just want you guys to practice with this. So make up a phone number, make up or a phone number format, make up the text and say my office number is this, but I'm only available from this time to this time, and maybe look up times. So from seven dash to eleven, right? You're only looking for that time frame, not necessarily a phone number. But mess around with that for the next seven or so minutes, and then um, I do want you guys to do exit slips in those seven minutes. So I'll be I'll be around in just a minute. Um, hang on, let me end this.